A small South American country of Guyana held a general election on Monday. The country is one of the poorest in the Western Hemisphere. Its politics has long been contentious. As CCTV's Stephen Gibbs reports, the two main political parties traditionally draw support from distinct racial groups. Guyana is in many ways the odd one out in South America. The only mainland country in this entire region where English is the national language and where they drive on the left. The politics too is unusual. For this is a nation where racial background has for decades largely determined how everyone votes. We went to two political rallies on the eve of this election. This one was held by the governing party, the PPP. The president, Donald Ramatar, who has a Marxist background, is addressing the crowd. Look at the faces of those listening to him. Almost everyone here is Indo-Guyanese, descendants of workers originally from India and Guyana's largest ethnic group. By contrast, the opposition rally across town was packed out with Afro-Guyanese supporters. The opposition leader, David Granger, believes that after 23 years of Indian-dominated government, he's formed a coalition that will make him president. And don't go to sleep until you hear David Granger, president of the Cooperative Republic of Guyana. Knowing the result is almost bound to be disputed by whichever side loses, teams of international observers are in country. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us. The most senior has been the 90-year-old former U.S. President Jimmy Carter, though ill health meant he did have to leave early. The party that loses will be the most likely ones to object to the process and condemn it as illicit or illegal or improper or unfair. And uh, if that is the incumbent uh, ruling party, the PPP so-called, which is mainly Indo-Guyanese, uh, then I think it'll be a difficult thing to maintain order and, and a peaceful transition. Voting began on Monday morning. The result may not be known until Wednesday. This vote counts, and not just because people here are electing a leader for the next five years, but also because it takes place in the midst of a tense political standoff. Last November, the president, facing a no-confidence vote in the opposition-led parliament, abruptly suspended it and called early elections. The move he hoped would wrong-foot his opponents. Is he about to regret that gamble? Stephen Gibbs, CCTV. Georgetown, Guyana.